Hey guys, I'm Jake. Amir. Tara. Sarah. And we're going to Notch View. Woo! So today you're at Notch View, which is a 3,200 acre reservation. First, my name is Andrea, and I'm the engagement manager here at Notch View, as well as three other properties, the trustees. The trustees is a statewide organization. It's a land conservation organization. It started in 1891, actually. And we have about 117 properties throughout the state that we steward. How is it that, why are we protecting? Places. And it's not just the natural resources we're protecting, but also the relationship that we have with them. And so the farming history and the agricultural history is a piece of that, and the goats kind of make it tangible, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So, what does Notch View have to do with sustainability? Well, being sustainable means being able to live in a way that doesn't harm or deplete the earth of its natural resources. It is important because not only do we need Earth's resources in order to survive, but every living thing needs them too. Every day, billions of humans are making decisions that affect how sustainable they are. With such a large population, small changes can make massive differences. This is why civic engagement is important for sustainability. Civic engagement is working to make a difference in the civic life of one's community and promoting the quality of life in the community. This is important because the more people that engage in making their community a better place, the more sustainable that community will become, reducing the overall damage humans do to the earth. Andrea also told us a few ways not to be tries to make itself more sustainable. So we use the energy from the solar here as well as some other properties and trustees that are nearby. Because we don't carry plastic water bottles, if people want water, we encourage them to bring their own reusable water bottle and they can fill it up here. Um, we also, Gatorade is a common thing for Nordic skiers, especially if they're racing and, uh, or high school students that train here. And so, I, for a while, was like, oh, how are we gonna find Gatorade that's not in plastic? But we actually found Gatorade in can. Yeah. We did our best this year to really do as little plastic as possible and minimize that use. So, so you guys today are helping out with us sort of reclaiming a little bit of Notch View's history and story, which is really exciting for the property. It's bringing to life an aspect of Notch View that um, has been dormant for a while. And so it's fun to sort of relive those traditions, very New England traditions. <laughs> And that is exactly what we did. For our volunteer hours, we collected sap from some of the maple trees that had been tapped a month prior. We carried buckets of sap across the field and started something called backyard sugaring. Backyard sugaring is boiling down the sap over an open fire to produce maple sugar. We had to build a fire and then wait for the sap to boil. When it started to boil, the water part of the sap would evaporate, leaving the maple sugar behind. This is an extremely long process because in any given amount of sap, only 3% of it is maple sugar. So about 40 gallons of sap only produces 1 gallon of maple syrup. However, Notchview's trees tend to run sweet with an astonishing 3.8% sugar content, which significantly reduces the boiling time. Thank you, Andrea and the trustees, for teaching us the importance of civic engagement and sustainability. Imagine needing 40 pounds of dough to make one loaf of bread. 